Hi! I know it's already February, so it's high time to talk about some upcoming book to film adaptations in 2019, mostly the first half. Although I did find that there's not that much coming out that I'm like super excited about, but let's get into it. First up, there is a film that I have mostly seen. I think I haven't seen the last 15 minutes. I got a screening link before the film came out and it ran out before I could finish the film and I haven't had a chance to see it in the cinemas yet. I don't know if it is still in cinemas. I hope it is because I do really want to watch it again and see the final final bit and it is Colette with Keira Knightley. Love Keira Knightley. Her films are going to be in this video two times. No surprise, I love anything historical that she's in and this is a story I hadn't heard about before at all. And it's not a direct book to film adaptation as far as I'm aware. It is based on a true story of the author of these books. So the books are called Claudine. So Claudine at school, Claudine married, and these were published by Vintage and they were kindly sent to me. They're originally written in French. And these are translated by Antonia White. It's the story of this young woman in France called Colette. She gets married, her husband is an author and has all these things on the go where like there's different authors working for him and, and writing different things. She writes a story for him. It becomes incredibly popular and everyone thinks that he's written it. And the film follows their marriage, career, and I just absolutely loved it. And I've been very curious to read these books. So not direct book to film adaptation, but a nice crossover. Another one that's out right now and that I have already seen, but I haven't read the book is If Beale Street Could Talk, which is based on the book by James Baldwin. It's about a young African-American couple set in Harlem in the 1970s. It's about them getting together, falling in love, she gets pregnant, and the story is told out of sequence. So you know that he ends up in jail and it's about their lives before and after and what it was like to be black in Harlem in the 1970s. It's about them trying to find an apartment and no one's willing to rent to them. It's about harassment and profiling by the police and a lot of it is also about love and life and family. I think for me the pacing of this film wasn't quite my thing. It was like very slow but I really really loved the narration of it. It starts with a quote from James Baldwin and then there is just this voiceover with pictures from the 1970s and you kind of have these moments of reflection in the film that I thought were amazing and also the music and the color and like the cinematography of this film is incredible. I think it is likely that I'll probably prefer the book over the film um, and I'm really curious if any of you have read it let me know what you think in the comments. Then I saw one where it is the opposite case. I am not really interested in reading the book because I'm pretty sure it is based on a memoir. It is Can You Ever Forgive Me, which I think is also in cinemas now. It came out on February 1st. So again, hopefully it's still in cinemas. It is the story of an author, Lee Israel, whose books aren't quite in favor anymore. She's trying to get another book deal. Her agent's not having any of it. And then she figures out that there is a market for sort of found letters by famous authors and the juicier they are, the better. So she starts faking these letters and selling them and just gets further and further into trouble. So it features Melissa McCarthy and Richard E. Grant and Richard E. Grant is her partner in crime. The most interesting part for me was the publishing industry side. It's hard watching a film where someone's just like getting themselves into more and more and more trouble. And even though I wasn't too fond of the story, I did think both actors were really, really good. It's not a book I'd be particularly interested in reading, but I wanted to feature anyway because I have seen the film. Most of the films I'm talking about, by the way, and I'll put this in the description as well, I've been invited to go to press screenings but it means you're free to review it or not or be negative or positive about it. So now we're going a little bit more into the future with a film that's coming out very soon in March in the US and in the UK and it's The Aftermath. This is the second Keira Knightley film and this is one that I have actually read and I read it ages ago because I think it came out when I was interning at Penguin. It's a story of a wife, Keira Knightley. She is sent to Germany after the Second World War where her husband is in the army and they've taken over like the massive house of this German man and basically the houses are being divided up um, across the English people in that area. And the German man that lives there, Alexander Skarsgård, definitely a favorite, um, is living in the attic, I think, with his younger daughter. It's been a very long time since I've read this book. And then potentially an affair develops between the two of them that is there because the wife basically had no idea what she was getting into, living in a destroyed city 
with a mix of like people that have just come there and then everyone that's gone through the war and the animosity between everyone. So it's definitely one that I want to go see in cinema. The book wasn't my usual genre, but I did think it was super interesting to read about that setting and that time in history, which I haven't read that much about. The next one is coming out in the US in May and in the UK in August, but I'm gonna count it in the first half of 2019. And it is The Sun Is Also A Star, which is based on the YA book by Nicola Yoon. It's about two young people that literally bump into each other other in New York. Her family is about to be deported the next day because um, I think her dad was caught drunk driving and then it was found that they were illegal immigrants and then I can't remember the names of the characters but he I think has like an important interview for med school. He has a lot of expectations from his family to do the right thing and have this very specific future but he's a big dreamer and she is very into like facts and maths and he totally falls for her and says I can make you fall in love with me in a day. Spend this day with me and I'll ask you all these questions. We'll get to know each other. It's very cute. You have to be into the kind of romancy side of it. And it deals with a lot of things like illegal immigration and different prejudices. I think my favorite thing about the book, which is why I'm a little bit scared about the film, is that there's these little chapters in between where, for example, they meet a security guard and the scene plays out and then there's a very short chapter in between where you get the point of view of the security guard or you get, I think one of the first things is like the history of this particular thing. So you get little bits in between. It's quite quirky. I really like that. And I don't know how they're going to put that in the film. And then finally there is Handmaid's Tale season three coming in June. I have to admit I have not watched season two yet. I know that it is incredibly bleak and I'm going to watch it very soon. I love season one. I love the book. If you haven't read the book yet, Please do. And then there's also two that are a little bit of a mystery at the moment. Knots and Crosses by Mallory Blackman is being made into a TV series. I could not find a release date for this, so I'll keep you updated in the next video. And then The Knife of Never Letting Go, the adaptation of that by Patrick Ness. This is a book that I loved so much, very excited for the film, but they've moved the release date, or I don't even know what it's been moved to. It was supposed to come out in March. It's not coming out in March. So hoping to get updates on that soon as well. I was hoping I could talk about Artemis Fowl in this video, but it's not coming out until August, although there is a trailer. So I'm gonna put that in the description. This is like one of my childhood favorite books. One of the very first things when I just got the internet, I looked up information about the Artemis Fowl film that they were making about, I don't know, 18, 15 years ago. All right, that's it. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'll put links to all the books and the trailers and everything like that. In the description i'll put the previous video i made about book to film adaptations in there as well where i talk about cameron post the hate you give and more i also wanted to let you know that i'm doing some events soon so i'm doing one at the Buchenberg or the book mountain which is a library in the netherlands they're doing a ya day and I'll be there and I'll be doing a workshop about booktubing. So if you're in the Netherlands, I'll put a link to that in the description. And I'm also chairing a panel with Lauren James, Non Pratt and Alice Osman. Very excited about that. And there will be a quiz as well. This is in London on March 4th. Again, link will be in the description. Now you're all up to date on book to film adaptations. If you've seen any of them, read any of them, let me know and I will see you soon. Doody.